So I just got a uh, a 300 I, or um, well, I got the most expensive one. I don't know which one. It's a f something, some kind of fighter. <laughs> Since uh, DFM is coming out, thought so I'd get something nice. <laughs> and man, am I glad I did. Oh, they got the um, the Hodus mechanics in finally. <laughs> That's good. should have the, some of the better guns on it, like a Hornet, so I wanted something stylish, but still uh, viable in combat. Stalker Twin Rack. <laughs> Sounds cool. Diver Cannon. Laser Cannon. I've got the feeling that this is going to be a great ship for the fighting. Or at least I'll just be the most awesome looking one out there. <laughs> I'm sure most people went for it. The Aurora, since it's the cheapest. This was seventy dollars. I was just going to get the base three hundred I, but hey, why not? Oh, whoa, whoa. Talon Stalker IR missile. Oh, sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. It just looks freaking awesome! I didn't know how it was going to work with the uh, with getting another ship in here. I like the way they did it. It just kind of expands. Like from right here, it just loops. Which is pretty cool. So many lights. Get back in it one more time. I'm like, <laughs> he's so small. I have to walk really like I'm, I'm really tall person in tiny house. It's how I walk. So that might be the only awkward. <laughs> 
Set, actually, probably won't matter. I'll go ahead and do it just for fun. Use it. Fine. Put it back on. Uh, but there we go. Why? Oh. <sighs> I was kind of nervous buying another ship, but I didn't know if it would like delete my Aurora, and that's the one that has all my permissions on it. It's good that they made it like this. I was very nervous. Because I think it, it jumps it up like 10 or $15 if you get the ship, same ship with permissions. So, I mean, that would have been... I mean, I still could have afforded it, but I didn't want to. I wanted to be able to get rust. And I don't think I would have been able to get rust <laughs> if I had have had to pay like $80, $90. So, yeah, that's like the, the 325A or something, something like that. Wait, I might actually. Wait, is it is a name on here? I should just check. Tap. Give me ship. Just go back. Yeah, 325A. Seventy dollars regular ship. I think it's like eighty-five or something. If you buy it with all the permissions, cool-looking ship. It's styling and it's not as expensive as the Hornet, which I think is ugly. I mean, I mean, it's cool because it looks like a Super Hornet, but uh, this is much more my style. It's just so pretty. 